Good morning, Farms and Wildcats. Welcome to another wonderful week here at Farms and Middle School. I bring you the morning messages for the week of March 28th, 2024. We always begin with our Farnsley's motto. I am unique. I am pursuing excellence. I am developing. I am a lifelong learner. Together, we are Farnsley. There's quite a few shout outs that uh, went out this past week or so. So... Let me go ahead and get started. I'm gonna read from my screen, okay? Uh, shout out to the entrepreneurs and all the students who came to school every day to actually put in the effort to learn. They uh, come to class engaged with the material and turn in assignments on time. They don't do it for rewards, they give it their all. You know who you are from Miss Point. Ms. Bryant is giving a shout out to all the ambassadors for their work, the Explore Ambassadors for their work in coordinating the Explore Showcase. Gala A, Brianna A, Isabel B, Mackenzie C, Aniston D, Ashley D, Miles D, Sienna G, Erica J, Elena M, Inez M, Chloe M, Haley O, Caden S, uh, Kalia T, Gavin T, Ben W, John Y, all of those are from Ms. Bryant. Way to go. It was a great time, and we had a really good experience. Shout out from, this one's from Ms. Collins. She's giving a shout out to Elena B, uh, Ellen Z, Me, Me, Me Angel S, and Jacoby H for helping set up engineering displays for the showcase. Uh, Aviana, Nathan, and Joanna for working and and for brianna a for coordinating rylan s for helping her reach the, to new heights i guess you know what that means donovan d for designing a piece of fit whiteboards in the building and meeting the deadlines congratulations this one's from me actually shout out to camden e sixth grader for helping out the athletic program though it wasn't his responsibility thank you for thinking of others seeing a need and stepping in where needed you demonstrated great generosity and servant leadership keep up the great work that's only half of the now of those also a shout out from miss hunt is given to gracie r for all her help with the ipad issues in genius hour miss mcduffie is shouting out to the eighth graders who attended the bay of, uh, uh, in Baya that attended the wow conference the women of worth conference on march 8th at jctc southwest great uh experience you all uh, represented us well and we appreciate all that you did Ms. Speaker was giving a shout out to the following to her entire class for their best effort during math for Aiden H for having a 44 point growth this school year in math testing and reading. Um, Hannah C for having a 14 point growth growth in reading uh, and Demetrius for having an 18 point point growth in reading. Shout out is from Mr. Caudill to Deanna adrian christopher and victor for helping him organize materials for the new quarter and rounding out miss Pissarro is giving a shout out to eric c for taking his time uh to get his map test done congratulations okay now we always talk about working smarter and not harder who like to work harder nobody so work smarter all right here's a couple tips I, I say to you that if you can break down a word into uh, different parts, you can probably figure out the word and what it means. I'll probably review a couple of those uh, words that we've gone through over time. So auto means self, like automatic. It does it by itself. Or meter means to measure. Kilometer, meter stick, metric. It's a measurement. It, uh, that's exactly what it means. Anything you see a word that has meter in it. Dict, D-I-C-T. It means to say, dictate, dictionary. A lot of different things to say. D-I-C-T, okay? Leader, which means, uh, actually means letter. And an example, example is literature, literature, all right? Pinned means to hang, and you're like, what? Appendix, appendix. Actually, an appendix is something that hangs off of your body, your primary part of your body. Appendix, such as 
this, what's hanging off of my hand or my wrist, these are my appendices, which are your fingers, appendix, okay? So pinned means to hang, something's hanging, all right? Appendix. Vac means empty, evacuate. Um, e nah, eviction as well, actually, to empty or what have you, get kicked, um, to be removed from. Empty, evac, evac evacuate. Set. To cut apart, uh, dissect is any section or whatever, a part of, to cut apart from. Port means to carry. An example is transportation, a transportation, um, or transportal, to carry. Okay. Hydra means water, hydrate, hydration, dehydrate. Like I'm, I'm low water, have you? Uh, tele means um, tele uh, to from from afar, from some distance away. So we use a telephone to call someone that is far away from us or teleport. All right. A couple of reminders. I always like to review our dress code policy. Uh, we do have some new students, but they seem to most of them seem to be uh, following in suit um just want to remind everyone period your collared t uh shirts can be in black white gold gray royal blue baby blue or navy blue the same as your quarter zip you notice that that is not a full jacket it is a pullover because it only zips partially down or crew neck sweatshirt same colors okay if you purchase a foreign sleeve spirit wear shirt whether it's a shirt, a pullover, or a crew neck sweatshirt, it is still approved for you to wear each and every day. But um, it is spirit wear that is approved. Also, your pants, your skirt, skirt, or shorts can be in the colors of black, royal, and khaki. Um, want to remind those their skirt, skirt, or shorts can be no shorter than two inches above the knee. See how that is? There's the knee, two inches above. Now, I've seen some go ride way high. Need to fix that. Um, shoes need to cover your toes and your heels. Shoes need to cover your toes and your heels. Easiest thing is to wear tennis shoes and be done with it. On Fridays, you're allowed to wear jeans with your uniform top for the cost of $1. Those jeans should not expose your skin above your knee. If they do, you need to cover any skin above your knee by wearing tights, leggings, shorts, or <clears throat> something else underneath those uh, jeans. These jeans over here are fine. They have a hole at the knee. It's fine. These have holes all the way up above the knee, but they're covering it up with that, um, that plaid piece of garment. These are not okay. There, is, there are holes at the knees. That's fine. But above the knee is still exposed. That's a problem. That is not acceptable. Don't even pay your money or you've donated your dollar. So make sure you come correct on Fridays. Cost is $1. First thing in the morning when you come to school, if you need tech support, you need to stop by Ms. Collins' um, area and get that device that you need. If you go and try to come back, you're not allowed to come back. We will shoo you away. You had every chance that as soon as you enter the building, take care of your business and then be on your way. Be on your way to one of three places. Choose the cafeteria, gym, or the library. If you um, are hungry, you go to the cafeteria. You won't be allowed to go somewhere else and then back to the cafeteria. You go to the cafeteria if you're hungry. If you uh, would like somewhere quiet to sit, the library is available to you. Otherwise, the gym is your option. Once you leave those locations, you go to your, your locker room and, I'm sorry, you go to the your locker and then put away all the things that are not appropriate for school and then be on your way. Speaking of what's not appropriate for school, cell phones policy. Any non-school issued electronic device is to be put away. If it is seen or heard, it will be confiscated and you can pick it up at the end of the day. But it will follow with a discipline um, process, progressive discipline on that. Hallway expectations, right-hand side, single foul, zero voice level as we uh, meander through the hallway. Also, no horseplay. Horseplay is not 
a thing for in school. There's too many people and people get bumped and it gets chaotic and it's not appropriate for school. So keep the horseplay to yourself at home outside of school, not here in the building. Okay, Scholastic Book Fair is happening now. This week is the last week for that. Check out that, that link and want to go over a couple more of those words again. Auto means self, automatic. Meter means measure, kilometer. Dict means say, dictate. Leader means letter, literature, literature. Uh, pen means hang, like appendix, appendix. Um, vac, vac means empty, evacuate, vacate. Okay, set, cut, cut apart, dissect, section. Port means to carry, transport, portation. Um, hydra, water. Example is hydration, dehydrate, and tele means far from a from afar. Remember that teleport um, to something far apart, carry from far apart is the teleport. Um, also telephone is that. Want to remind those of the carpool procedures. You are only allowed to turn right down Wildcat Lane. Those are pick up and drop off procedures. If you're coming off a of cane run, you and you're uh, coming off a of cane run and you're coming to the school, you must go down and around to get in line on to go down Lee's Lane, uh, to go down Lee's Lane and make a right down Wildcat Lane. Um, otherwise, you won't get access, okay? Be sure not to block any driveways or entrances and pull as far forward as possible without allowing any gaps. Uh, priority will be given to those lines along Lee's Lane. Once once you're in the flow, really, it's about 10 to 12 minutes and we're done with that. Um, lots, lots of things going on this week. Uh, and next week is spring break. So um, the... PTSA dance is tomorrow, and there are still a couple things that are meeting after school today and on Friday. Um, during the spring break time, there's some things that will uh, that will be offered. I'll talk about that in a minute. And no school on that Monday after spring break. It's a flex day for our staff, all right? Lots of things going on. Make sure you pay attention. Speaking of the dance, the dance is tomorrow. It is going to be from 5 to 7, so you have time to go home after school, get dressed. Yes, you do still have to go home after school, get dressed, and come back with your $5 to get into the dance. The cost will be that $5, and you'll get it at the door. Those who are allowed to come, there is a criteria from March 11th through the 28th. You must have no unfulfilled discipline matters. You can have no more than two days of unexcused absences. You must be passing all your classes currently. We just started the grading period. Come on. Yeah, I'm sure you turned something in. Um, you also cannot have served ISAP or detention from the period of March 11th through the 28th. So if you have passed all of those requirements, oh, and you must be finished with your math test. If you have passed all of those requirements, then you are permitted to go. We do have a list of students who are not permitted to go and those who are. And so you'll be allowed to purchase your ticket for $5 in the tent of dance. Come all beautified. The attire is semi to dressy. Um, it's a dressy affair for our spring fling, uh, dance. Okay. Don't forget coach Nur is still collecting five up to $5. He's asking for donations of up to $5 for hoots for heart campaign to raise awareness for heart research to make donations to the American heart association. If you have been able to raise at least $5, drop it off to coach Schnur and you will earn a pass to be able to, oh, I've been saying this on Friday, I guess it's on to, on Thursday, to um, to play in the gym on Thursday at the end of the school day um, and do activities for Hoops for Heart. All right, couples of uh, community-sponsored events I want to share with you. Uh, community School is presenting Friends with Fl um, Friends and flicks at Farnsley. So for instance, tomorrow they have the Hunger Games, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. So that's going to be planned tomorrow. First 20 students to sign up on that QR code get to attend with their friends. They also have uh, Wild at Out Fridays 
uh, if you've already seen Nick Cannon's Wild Now uh, show, it is sponsored by that. Uh, you have to scan the QR code and see that. 20 spots available. It is, oh, it's Friday, May 10th. Sorry. Uh, Trap Bingo. They have Trap Bingos going on. Um, from 3 30 to 5 i believe that's going on tomorrow it may not be um it looks like it, it happened last friday so you'll see more of those things around um also for next week during spring break they are hosting community schools is hosting two different things one is open gym from the second through the fourth from 10 to 12 there's only 25 spots available scan that qr code to be one of the students that come to farnsley and hang out in the open gym but only 25 students are allowed and then they have a craftopia which is also from the second through the fourth from 12 30 to 4 and do it yourself in art collections scan that qr code they're taking 16 people 16 spots available after spring break these are some things that are available to you they'll do another uh, wild and out they'll do a community school uh oh to a game day um and community presents teens sup, uh super teen super chef okay so check those out scan those let's talk about little known women in history this is our um history month for women in history her name is lydia via komaroff she is considered to be a trailblazer in the field of mo molecular biology she faced many adverse adver adversities she faced throughout her life at one point an advisor told her that women did not belong in chemistry hmm. she was furious so but it inspired her to switch her major to biology uh she did pursue her passion in spite of the opposition in in 1978 she made waves with the pub and published paper detailing her most notable discovery that bacteria could be engineered to produce human insulin hmm anybody know about penicillin or what have you in case you've ever taken that that's what she discovered she currently serves as the chief scientific officer cso at sentinel all right learn more about her and other great ladies in uh history um this is lydia via komarov all right what about those words otto what did we say it meant? Uh, if you said self, you were right. Okay. What about meter, meter, meter? What did meter mean? Uh, I said a measure, measure of something. Yes, kilometer. And what about dict, D-I-C-T? Mm. Oh, if you said say, you were right. What about leader, litter, leader? Hmm. Letter means literature, like literature. What about penned? I think I gave you my fingers as an example. Pen. Ah, appendices. Hang. Something hangs. Okay. Vac. 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 Hmm. To empty. E evacuate. Okay. Good. Uh, sect. Sect. What was sect? Oh, something like. Oh, cut apart. Dissect. Separate. Um, section. Port. 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 Like. Port, port, hmm, carry something, carry something, transport, and then hydra, ah, oh, that sounds pretty easy, hydra means water, hydration, dehydration, we've got tele, 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 means like the telephone, ah, oh, from afar, from afar, okay, phone someone from afar, or trans, carry someone from afar, teleport. All right, that is all I have for you today. Remember, the difference between a good day and a bad day is your attitude. Let's make it a great one.